What is up, Evil Crew? Today I am out in the beautiful Mojave and we're gonna explore. We got a little building right there to go explore. But the purpose of this video is a new series I'm gonna do for my channel. And it's gonna be because I get a lot of questions from a lot of people. They email me, they ask me in the comments, what camera do you use? What flashlight do you use? You know, all the questions about my gear. So I'm gonna start on Wednesdays. I'm gonna start doing reviews on all the gear that I use for exploring. And I'm not gonna give, these aren't technical reviews. If you wanna go see technical reviews of these products, there's plenty of channels out there that do that kind of content. I'm not doing a tech review. I don't claim to be an expert on any of this gear that I'm gonna show you. Today, I'm gonna cover the Canon camera and you're gonna wanna watch this video if you're thinking about buying a Canon ADD or if you want a good camera to go out there and uh, shoot some run and gun or uh, exploring videos or any type of content like that you're gonna want to watch this video because it might save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle so let's jump right into it first thing i want to say guys full disclosure there is no sponsorship of this video at all i'm not associated with canon i bought this camera myself and i wish someone would have made a video like this for me before i did because i think i may have bought the wrong camera and i want you guys to also avoid making the same mistake I did. It does a really nice job of taking crystal clear video. Some people like how I, how nice it is at low light, but I also run it in full manual in order to make it look good in low light conditions. Let's get into some reasons why you may not want to buy this camera. So the biggest disappointment I had with the Canon ADD is that it lacks internal stabilization. It's pure awful. It's the worst of any camera I have owned. And I have another camera that I'll do another review on. It's a Panasonic. And I'll do a review on that one and it's really good, but people really like the picture quality of this camera. So for now I can use it, but I have to use it with a stabilizer, which is uh, it's on right now. Now I'm gonna show you a video with me hand holding it, not on the stabilizer. So let's do that first. And then I'm gonna show you what the gimbal and uh, that I have. And now I wanted to go with the Zoom or Zoom, I don't know how you say it, uh, the uh, motorized gimbals, but it's nearly impossible because if you explore, you're gonna to need to have lights and you're gonna to need to have you know, all your gear in addition to that. You also are gonna need two stabilizers if you wanna use a Canon ADD. I mean, I'm telling you, I personally find the stabilization to be awful. I would have never have bought this camera if I would have known the stabilization was this bad. But if you're willing to live with it, it's a good cheap camera you can get. So let's start the first walk. Here's our first walk. There's absolutely no stabilization. I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can. Okay. Okay guys, now I'm gonna do it with the, with the lens stabilization on. Personally, I see very little difference. Like, sometimes I wonder if the stabilizer is even working. Now we're gonna use the gimbal that I have. And you should see a dramatic difference. So there you have it, all three. So the only problem I really have with the Canon ADD, and it drives me, me crazy because it's such a hassle, I would have not bought this camera, is the uh, stabilization. The lack of internal stabilization, I feel, makes this camera unusable unless, unless, again, you're willing to use a stabilizer and you're gonna to wanna to have two stabilizers. I'll actually go into that in another video of how to make it as easy as possible on you if you do go with the ADD or you have an ADD, but it's gonna limit you in a lot of ways. So now that I went with some of the things I dislike about this camera, let me talk about some of the things I really, really like about the camera. Image quality is spectacular. I think it's really, really nice and I'm using a pretty cheap lens. Really good image quality. I also like the articulating screen. If you're a vlogger and you're sitting at home and you're vlogging or you're doing anything on the camera and you wanna be able to see yourself, you can't go wrong with the articulating screen. I also like the touch screen. The touch screen is amazing. 
It makes things way easier if you want to pull focus. If you want to, you know, pull focus one right after another, you can actually just click on your screen and focus on whatever you want, which is really nice for cinematic shots. I, I personally would not buy a Canon if I had it to do again. I would have saved my money and I would have went with the Panasonic GH5, but there's a trade-off there. The Panasonic GH5 has awful autofocus. The autofocus is really, really bad. So that's something you want to consider too. And then you have the Sonys, which are really, really nice cameras, but they're just, you're talking big bucks. You're going to be spending a lot of money and they have their own issues. Also what's decent on this camera is the low light is decent, which is you find yourself in a lot of low light conditions. But I would also suggest lighting as much as you can in low light conditions. I'm going to show you a few clips now of us going through a pitch dark mine so you can see the low light quality of the camera. I use a quality light though, which I will also do a review on. You guys, if you want to buy an ADD, I'm gonna put a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. You buy from that affiliate link, you'll kick us a little money saying thank you for making this video for me and saving me money. So I'm gonna put a link also to the GH5, which is what I, I plan on getting. I'm gonna save my money to get that. And you guys can also click on the link. It's an affiliate link. If you buy through that link, you'll kick me a little money again saying thank you for making this video. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy these videos. I plan on making them every Wednesday for you if you guys like them. Again, I'm not a tech. I'm not doing tech reviews. There's plenty of places on YouTube you can find a tech review for all these products. I'm showing you real world, real world conditions of using these products. So this is what my experience and only my experience. I know there's going to be people who disagree. That's fine. This is just my suggestion to you. ADD, not worth it. Pass unless you want to use a stabilizer with it. And it. I mean, you can, but you're goodbye to the, any of the, you know, fancy transitions or anything like that. It's, it makes it very difficult. And if you're a vlogger though, and you're chilling at home, this is a camera for you. If you're not moving much, you set it up on a tripod, this is the camera for you 100%. You will love this camera. All right, guys, till next week, 